Good morning guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. What we are doing today is doing a side-by-side -side test of ceramic coat. So I've ceramic coated two cars in the past, the FRS and my STI, but I've never done like a long-term test, a month plus test on a car. So what we're gonna be doing today is I have my Nissan 250Z in the shop. I just picked this thing up as you guys may or may not know. And what I wanna do on this car is ceramic coat, maybe like half the hood, one of the wheels, maybe half the windshield, and then we're gonna go ahead and drive the car for a while and see how good this stuff actually works. So this here should be everything we need to do this testing. This is a ceramic prep kit, and this is the Armor Shield ceramic coating itself. Both of these are made by Avalon King, and I'll have this stuff linked down in the description box below if you end up liking it, which I'm pretty sure you guys will. We have ceramic coated two cars, and I absolutely love this stuff. So what we're gonna be doing is ceramic coating half of this hood. Let's do the right side of the hood, the right side of the windshield, and then let's do one of the wheels as well. The reason I wanna do a wheel is, obviously when you drive the car, brake dust gets on the wheel, gets stuck on there pretty badly. Ceramic coat should allow the wheel to wash off much easier if it is coated versus non-coated. So in this ceramic prep kit, there is a little application guide that just shows to wash the car, rinse it off, and then we're gonna make the clay loop solution. So basically what this kit is, it's a wash kit and a clay mitt kit. I used to use clay bars back in the day and then they came out with clay mitts, which are so much handier than a clay bar. So I'll kind of show you what it is. This is what a clay mitt looks like. Essentially it is clay bar on a mitt. So you can just put your hand on there and it's much easier to use than clay bar itself. Being that we're not doing the whole car, I'm not gonna spend time to wash the whole car right now. It is pretty clean. We can just go ahead and clean up the panels that we are going to be doing the testing on. So we got the hood cleaned up. Next thing we're gonna do is use the clay mitt. Now, one thing I need to make clear to you guys, if you are gonna ceramic coat your car at home, you have to make sure your paint is in very, very good condition before you actually ceramic coat the car. The reason for this is ceramic coating, when it cures, it's a very, very hard product. If you have scratches, if you have swirl marks, if you have anything under the ceramic coat, you're gonna need to remove the ceramic coat, which is kind of a long process, to get those swirl marks and scratches buffed out of the paint. This car was recently buffed out right before I got it, and I am happy with the paint how it is, it's not a car I'm keeping, so I'm not going to spend the time to go around, buff the whole car out, and do all that stuff. So just for this test alone, we are not going to be buffing out the car. But once again, if you guys are doing this at home on your own car, you have to make sure the paint is in a condition that you are satisfied with before you ceramic coat the car. I'm not doing that in this video. If you guys want to see a full video on like actually ceramic coating your car at home, I'll have a video linked up in the top or hand corner. Go check that out. So grab a bucket, grab some of this wash from the prep kit. I'm just gonna throw a little bit in there and then I'm gonna fill this thing up with water. All right, so I got about one ounce of the shampoo and one gallon of water. Now I can grab the clay mitt, soak it in there and clay mitt the hood. This is just gonna get all of the grime off the hood. Anything that's stuck on there, any sap, any stuff you don't want under the ceramic coat. If you guys have never used a clay mitt before and you use clay bars, please do yourself a favor and pick up a clay mitt. They save you so much time. So we got this half of the hood clay mitted. Next thing we're gonna do is grab some tape so we can have a nice clean tape line and run a sheet of tape right down the center of the hood. I'm gonna be ceramic coating this side and not doing that side just so we can have a really nice side-by-side -side comparison in about a month when we go to clean the car. All right, we're pretty much ready to go. Next thing to do before we actually ceramic coat is to clean up this side of the hood with isopropyl alcohol. So just grab a new lint-free towel, grab some 70% diluted isopropyl alcohol. This stuff is like $2 or maybe even a dollar at like Walmart. Throw some on there and wipe down the hood. All right, let's go ahead, pop open the ceramic coating kit and I'll show you guys how this stuff is done. It is so freaking easy to use. You got a sticker. This right here is the ceramic coating itself. Applicator block. This guy right here, we're gonna wrap around the applicator block. This is the applicator pad, I guess you'd call it. And we are gonna be applying a ceramic coat to this little applicator pad. And then they also include a glove and a new lint-free towel to wipe down the panel after you get it ceramic coated. So a quick little rundown on ceramic coating. First things first, clean the car. Number two, clay bar it. Three, if you're not happy with the paint, buff and polish it out. Four, clean it up with isopropyl alcohol. Five, ceramic coat it. Very, very simple process. As soon as you apply the ceramic coat, depending on the temperature, you're gonna let it sit for anywhere from like one to three minutes. Three minutes if it's like 50 degrees out, one minute if it's about 80 degrees out. It's probably 70 degrees right now, so I'm gonna let it sit for about two minutes, and then you can wipe off the excess ceramic coat 
with the new black lint free towel they supplied us. So be sure to throw on some gloves. You definitely don't want ceramic coating on your hands. Probably not the safest thing. And then we're just gonna throw a few drips. Something like that. Actually, that's probably a little too much, but it's okay. And now we can coat the hood. So what we're gonna do, do a vertical and horizontal pass on the whole surface of the hood. So let's start up here on the edge. You can really see what, what is coated and what is not coated. So don't worry about missing something. As you can see right there, it becomes a lot more glossy with the coated area. All right, we got half the hood coated. I applied more ceramic coating to the applicator pad three separate times. So if it starts looking dry, like you're not getting enough coating on whatever panel you're coating, just apply a few more drips to the applicator pad and get back to coating. What we're gonna do right now, wait two minutes for the ceramic coating to dry and then grab this black lint-free towel they supplied and lightly buff off all of the excess ceramic coat. It's been about two minutes. As you can see, it turns like a very rainbow-ish look. So just grab this lint-free towel and gently buff it off. You don't need to press too hard on it. As you can see, kind of just buffs it right off. Oh yeah, that looks freaking amazing. So that's what it looks like when it's buffed off. That's what it looks like when it's not. Very, very easy to tell if you missed any areas. So we are officially done. Half the hood is coated, that half isn't. That's gonna be a perfect comparison side by side in about a month when we wash the car and see how big of a difference this stuff actually makes. Now, after you ceramic coat a panel, you need to let it cure for about two to three days. It all depends on like the, the humidity, the temperature outside. The FRS behind me took three days to cure. It's vinyl wrapped. The STI took two full days to cure. I'm guessing this will probably take two or three days as well. So make sure you do not get any water on it until the ceramic coating is fully cured. The next thing I'm gonna move on to is the windshield. So starting out with washing it, then the claim it, you can't really buff out a windshield, so you can skip that. Isopropyl alcohol and then ceramic coating itself. All right, the next thing we're gonna coat is this front wheel. I pulled it off so I can get the backside of it all cleaned up. That's one of the main things I'm actually concerned with is the backside of the wheels. The front sides are easy to get when they're on the car. Backsides are super, super hard to get when it's on the car. So if the backside is coated and you can just hose off all the road grime and brake dust, that'd make life a whole lot easier. So we're just gonna go through, clean it up with some degreaser and then move on to ceramic coating the wheel. All right, well that is it. We have half of the hood ceramic coated, half the windshield and one wheel, all ceramic coated. I'm gonna pick this video back up probably in two or three weeks, whenever I wash this car next and really compare the difference between the ceramic coated and non ceramic coated panels. I'll see you guys then. So guys, it's about three to four days later after we have ceramic coated half of the car. Look at the difference on the hood. This side is the coated side, that, coat is, that side is not. What you want, get your face <laughs> back in there. And then the windshield as well. I don't know if you guys can really see on the camera. Right down the center. Not coated. Coated. I'm gonna go drive the car and try to get on like the highway on a freeway and do a good amount of speed and see the difference when the rain hits the windshield, how it's gonna react, coated versus not coated. So it's been about two weeks since we ceramic coated half this car. It's been sitting here, it's been rained on a few times, beating in the sun. So there isn't a massive difference when the car is just sitting here. As you can see, it still definitely gets dirty. The main thing I wanna check is the difference when you go to wash the car, how much easier it is to clean the, the coated side versus the non-coated side, and of course a coated wheel versus a non ceramic coated wheel. Let's bring it down to the shop and see what happens. So what I'm gonna do is just set up the camera, spray off the hood and run a time lapse. I'm not gonna dry it or anything. I'm just gonna let it air dry. And we can really see the difference in the time lapse of the coated side versus non coated side when it just air dries with just spraying it off and not actually washing the car with like soap and wash mitt.
So the hood is definitely cleaner on the ceramic coated side. Not a huge difference, but it's definitely noticeable. This here is the coated side. This here is the non-coated side. Let's go ahead and run the same exact test on this front windshield. So here is the windshield after it was just hosed off. Is there a difference? I don't really think so. I think it looks the same left to right. I know you guys probably can't really see on the camera. Kind of zoom in, there we go. Yeah, it looks the same across the whole board. Now, obviously my main focus and concern with ceramic coating a windshield is driving in the rain. Driving in the rain is a night and day difference, coated versus non-coated. So I think right there is well worth it. Not to mention when you go wash the car, their water runs off way faster. So it's gonna be much, much easier to dry. Next up, we have the wheels. One thing I'm noticing right off the bat is the wheel that we ceramic coated versus the wheel we didn't ceramic coat. The wheel we coated is way freaking cleaner. Check this out. So this is the wheel we coated. There's a little bit of dirt on there, nothing crazy. And this is the wheel we did not coat. As you can see, there's a bunch of dirt built up in there. Let's go ahead, hose them off, and see the difference when we actually hose off the wheel. Oh, wow. That makes a freaking huge difference. Look at the water just beating right up on the wheel. It's pretty much clean. Like I don't really have to wash the wheel from here. I could probably dry it off and be good to go. This here is the wheel we have not coated yet. Okay, yeah, it still came much cleaner than obviously before, but like in the cracks and crevices and obviously in the back side of the wheel, completely disgusting. So based off of these results, here is what I'm noticing. On the paint, it is a complete night and day difference when you go to hose it off. The water runs off much, much faster and really beads up. It'll be much easier to dry. Not only that, it's gonna protect your paint from like sun and all that stuff over time. On a windshield, the main thing I was worried about was driving the rain, complete night and day difference there. On the wheels, I'm worried about cleaning way different on the wheels. That's one of the main benefits I am noticing is how much cleaner the wheels stay with the ceramic coating. You guys are more than welcome to buy some of this. Try it out yourself. It's pretty dang cheap. Stay tuned till the end of the video. We are doing a 10 kit giveaway. I teamed up with Avalon King, the same exact coating we are using on this car for this test and we are giving away 10 kits. So stay tuned to the end of the video. What I'm gonna do now is give the car a complete wash and pick this video back up in maybe another week or so, maybe a week or two and do the same test again. Make sure the coating isn't just gonna like wear off over time. I know this isn't like a multi-year video. It's only like a month or a month and a half maybe, but I do plan on selling this car soon, so I can't really drag this test on for years and years and years. Alrighty, my friends, two more weeks have gone by. Let's bring the car back down to the shop, do some more testing, more rinsing, more washing, and see how the ceramic coat reacts. All right, so as you guys just saw, it is the same exact as the first time we washed the car. It still runs off and beads up on the side of the hood that is coated. The other side that's not coated, the water kind of just sits there and it doesn't really rinse off the dirt uh, nearly as easy as the side that is coated. On the wheel, one of the most amazing things ever, all of the brake dust just washes and rinses right off. Much, much easier to clean. As far as the windshield goes, when we were driving the car in the rain, you literally could drive a car without windshield wipers if you ceramic coated your windshield. Very, very nice stuff to have. If you guys don't want to partake in the giveaway that we are doing, I will link the ceramic coat down in the description box below. DVN25 will save you $25 off of an order, but if you guys want to partake in the giveaway, here are the rules. So in this box right here, we have 10 full brand new, never opened Armor Shield IX kits by Avalon King. 
these are all for the giveaway for you guys. If you want to partake in this giveaway, I just put a photo over on my Instagram. We will be doing the giveaway on Instagram as well. So guys, you have to have a Instagram account to partake in this giveaway. You have 24 hours. All you have to do is go on the Instagram photo we just uploaded, drop a comment and let me know what kind of car do you drive. That's all you have to do. We have 10 full kits, so we'll be picking 10 individual winners. I'll be going live on Instagram in exactly 24 hours. So this video is uploaded on Sunday, 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. We'll be going live on Instagram Monday, 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So you have 24 hours to get entered to win one of these kits. We will be picking 10 individual winners. If you end up not winning the giveaway, once again, DVN25 sees you $25 off of a kit. If you do a full car and you want to do the windshield and wheels, I would highly recommend two kits. If you're doing a street bike or a motorcycle like we just did on the channel, one kit is plenty. It's really cool seeing the ceramic coating differences side by side. As you guys can see, it's definitely not a scam. It really works like they say it does. So that was pretty dope to see in person. That's gonna be it for this video, boys. Really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next vlog.